Hi everyone, Cassia614 here welcoming you to the final Life Abridged Countdown. This is going to be a six month spanning countdown that goes from June through November of this year. Since it covered so much material, I decided to do this in a very different format from the typical. Instead of counting moment by moment, I'm actually going to be counting down the top 40 series that put out material in this past six months. Uh, this is going to cover everything that I subscribe to, that is 75 channels, uh, about 70 different series that put out material in this time. So this will cover the top 40 of those, and for the first 35 of them, there will be five per video. After that, I will do the top five in their own individual ones. And since it's not moment by moment, I won't be showing clips, but rather giving a general uh, review of each series, and I will have links to these series in the description. This video is for series 40 through 36, starting with series number 40, which is Killer 7 Samurai's 7 uh, Samurai 7. Sorry. I can speak today. Anyway, uh, Samurai uh, 7 Samurai or Samurai 7, I keep making that mistake, uh, has really, uh, it ha has solid voicing, and a lot of the bits are very clean. The comic bits come together very cleanly, however, the, the comic payoff is not a as great as you see in some of the other series. So it's all done very sturdily. The, the quality and uh, production values are clearly very good. As you watch through it, you have like the right inflection here and there. And the voicing is okay. It uh, could be better. Voicing is not uh, a crucial uh, thing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the narrator there in episode 5, v particularly fun uh, in terms of character voicing. And th the quirkiness of the characters really comes across. You have you have very clear uh, characterizations and just the silliness of the characters, even when there isn't a specific comic bit going, uh, is is so certainly something to dig into for for the viewer. And, and I found that very uh, very appealing in the series. Uh, the there were some good uh, stingers in these episodes uh, five through seven that came out on this uh, month, uh, the six months. And uh, in general, there were, there were a few bits that really did pay off, but on the whole, it was the quirkiness of the characters that really, uh, you know, made you want to keep watching just because the characters were so silly. You had, uh, you know, it wasn't just a lot of straight men talking and, and you know, giving your exposition as some series uh, sort of devolve into when there isn't a specific comic bit. Now, those are really, really hard to do, uh, so sometimes... You know, it's easy when you don't have those to end up in just like, oh, I'm just going to paraphrase, uh, which didn't happen because the characters were, were made uh, so silly and so much fun, ultimately. Series 39. That is uh, Wings of Twilight's Kit Kat Quick Shot. Quick Shots, by the way, and... Uh, you know, one shots and abridgments of abridged series were counted as their own series, so they were counted separately. Uh, the Wings of Twilight's Kit Kat uh, Quick Shot was very short. There's not too too much to say about it, uh, except that the editing is really slick. Wings of Twilight, in general, you know, he brings it with the the editing, and that definitely came through, uh, especially with the opener and closer. Like you could just tell that you were watching something that was was made very well. Uh, generally, again, well done. A, a sort of theme for this first video is, you know, there aren't a lot of specific comic bits to get to, uh, so you didn't have, like, the comic payoff for a specific joke here and there, but just in general, it is done very well, and you don't, again, you don't have, you know, the straight men, uh, by which I mean, um, characters which set up jokes for other people, uh, but you have everyone sort of being silly and quirky in their own right, which definitely came across in this video. Uh, he's got a good team of voice actors, too, so the voice acting was, was pretty good quality there. Though there was one point that I do remember the, um, the audio being a little hard to hear with the uh, echo. Echoes are a little tough. I know that's a fine line in terms of uh, making sure that it's uh, clear that it's a thought and not a, out loud, but also being audible. Sometimes that happens, and I, I believe in this quick shot there was one issue with that, so that is... 39, Wings of Twilight's Kit Kat Quick Shot. 